<laughs> Go see your doctor. I never went to see a doctor again. I took acid <laughs> that night. September 28th. It was the night Larry Holmes that night. Muhammad Ali. Oh, God. Oh, uh, Joey Diaz. This is going to be my first time ever seeing Mish Hedberg. <laughs> I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 of something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right, that's good. yeah, 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 my mom loves those applause breaks. <laughs> refried beans, I like refried beans, that's why I want to try fried beans, because maybe they're just as good and we're, we're wasting time. I went, to a, that's his I went to a pizzeria, I ordered a slice of pizza, the dude gave me the smallest slice possible. If the pizza was a pie chart, for what people would do if they found a million dollars, this dude gave me the donate to Charity Slice. <laughs> I would like to exchange this for the keep it. <laughs> I tried to walk into Target, but I missed. <laughs> I think the entrance to Target should have people splattered all around. I was walking by a dry cleaner at 3 a.m. and the sign said, sorry, we're closed. You don't have to be sorry. It's 3 a.m. and you're a dry cleaner. <laughs> it would be ridiculous for me to expect you to be open. <laughs> I'm not going to walk in at 10 and say, hey, man, I walked by at 3. You guys were closed. Somebody owes me an apology. I've been working. Hey, that's right. You guys did that for my mom. I find that Duck's opinion of me is very much influenced over whether or not I have bread. A duck, a duck loves bread, but he does not have the capability to buy a loaf. <laughs> That's the biggest joke on the duck ever. <laughs> like if I worked at a convenience store and a duck came in and grabbed a loaf of bread with his beak and walked out, I let him go. <laughs> I said, come back tomorrow, bring your friends. I bought a house, I bought a two-bedroom house, but it's up to me how many bedrooms there are though, isn't it? <laughs> this bedroom has an oven in it. <laughs> this bedroom has a lot of people sitting around watching TV. <laughs> this bedroom is AKA a hallway. <laughs> this bedroom's over in that guy's house. <laughs> Sir, you have one of my bedrooms. <laughs> if, you're wa if you're watching so the parade, ridiculous. make sure you stand in one spot. Don't follow it, it never changes. <laughs> And if you don't like the parade, run in the opposite direction. You will fast forward the parade. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, you know what, man? I got a parrot. The parrot talked, but it did not say I'm hungry, so it died. <laughs> I like sandwiches, but I, you know, I hate sandwiches at New York delis. There's too much meat on the sandwich. It's like a cow with a cracker on either side. <laughs> What would you like? A pastrami sandwich? Anything else? Yeah, a loaf of bread and some other people? <laughs> you know, I order the club sandwich all the time, and I'm not even a member, man. I don't know how I get away with it. <laughs> I like my sandwiches with three pieces of bread. So do I. Well, let's form a club. <laughs> this pass because it helps me know when I'm upside down. <laughs> <laughs> this shirt is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> all right. uh. Dry clean only, all right? All right, I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I had an apartment in Los Angeles, and I had a neighbor. And whenever he would knock on my wall, I knew he wanted me to turn my music down, and that made me angry because I like loud music. So when he knocked on the wall, I'd mess with his head. I'd say, go around. <laughs> I cannot open the wall. <laughs> 
I don't know if you have a doorknob on the other side, but over here there's nothing. <laughs> Just ridiculous. I like Kit Kats unless I'm with four or more people. <laughs> when I wear T-shirts, I can only wear V-necks because my neck is very fragile. I cannot wear a regular neck shirt; it hurts. <laughs> and I especially hate turtlenecks. Like wearing a turtleneck is like being strangled by a really weak guy. <laughs> All damn day. All damn day. <laughs> like if you wear a turtleneck. And a backpack, it's like a weak midget trying to bring you down. <laughs> I thought my teeth were white until I washed my face with Noxzema. <laughs> They are off-white. <laughs> I'm not even white. I'm off-white. It's a new race. We will prevail. Off-white. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a commercial on late night TV that said, off, forget like. everything you know about slip covers. So I did. And it was a load off my mind. <laughs> Then the commercial tried to sell slip covers, but I didn't know what the hell they were. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cool, man. I wrote a script and I gave it to a guy who reads scripts and he read it and he said he really likes it, but he thinks I need to rewrite it. I said, fuck that, I'll just make a copy. <laughs> I went to the doctor, all he did was suck blood from my neck. Do not go see Dr. Acula. Throw it in the forest and say, you're home. Oh my god. I get up in the morning, I make myself a bowl of instant oatmeal, and then I don't do anything for an hour. <laughs> Which makes me wonder why I need the instant oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> I could get the regular oatmeal and feel productive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how did he come up with that stuff? I mean, that dude, that's some of the. And he get. Like, so he'll do an hour special with all one liners like that? I'm not sure if he ever did an hour. I think he did half hour or something. I'm half not, hour. I'm not 100% oh, positive. Oh, man. But they, was, I, it didn't get old. I was smiling the whole time. He was on late night a lot of times, too. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like just doing little five-minute sets on late mm -hmm. night TV. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah, dude. Uh, I, could, I, I mean, I, I could watch him for about 10 minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and then, then I'm good to, to switch to somebody else. Like, I like Joey Diaz, where he tells a whole long story that's funny, right? right Mitch right, Hedberg right. is like one sentence over and over and over again. Very mm -hmm. hard, dude. Yeah. That is a hard trade he's in right there. Mm -hmm. How do you come up with new shit? Jeez Louise. Yep, yep. Wow. Um, Is this... Okay, uh, I'm going to give that comedy section. I guess we don't really need to rate. Yeah, no. I mean, I, th I, just th I just think, like, throw a few comedies in there. Just let it fly. Let yeah. it play and have it's some perfect. laughs. It's fucking it's perfect. 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 Next, we got Weird Al Bedrock Anthem. Is that the Blind Melon B girl? 